Good evening, everyone. This is Chris, and this is Compline Prayer. It is Monday, July 20th. Um, I am doing Compline Prayer on behalf of the Trinity Episcopal Church in Elkridge, Maryland. If you have your Book of Common Prayer, you want to go ahead and turn to page 127, or go ahead and go online to bcponline.org, select Daily Office from the Table of Contents, and within the Daily Office, you can select Compline. This is a short 10 to 12 minute prayer service, so if you are entirely new to Compline, I encourage you to just sit back. If you'd like, close your eyes. You can let the prayers just sort of wash over you. It's just a very nice and relaxing way to bring your day to a close. So with that, let's go ahead and just take a quick moment of silence and then we will begin. For those of you again following along, we are on page 127. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm for this evening will be Psalm 31, verses 1 through 5, which you can find on page 129. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The word for this evening comes from the Gospel of Matthew and can be found at the bottom of page 131. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Saying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those, both night and day, who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, I welcome you to offer your prayers of intercession, which you may say aloud, silently in your heart, or if you'd like, you can share them in the chat box.
This evening, I'd like to offer prayers for the right use of God's gifts. Almighty God, whose loving hand has given us all that we possess, grant us grace that we may honor you with our substance and remembering the account which we must one day give, may be faithful stewards of your bounty through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer for knowledge of God's creation. Almighty and everlasting God, you made the universe with all its marvelous order, its atoms, worlds, and galaxies, and the infinite complexity of living creatures. Grant that as we probe the mysteries of your creation, we may come to know you more truly and more surely fulfill our role in your eternal purpose. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us offer a prayer for the care of children. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, you have blessed us with the joy and care of children. Give us calm strength and patient wisdom as we bring them up, that we may teach them to love whatever is just and true and good, following the example of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And finally, let us offer a collect for peace. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus our Savior. Amen. Heavenly Father, we offer all of these prayers to you today, those that we've spoken aloud and those that only you know as we carry them close in our hearts. We ask you in your divine wisdom to give us grace and comfort in all that we had asked. Help us to better understand our purpose here. Help us to be kinder and more gentle and compassionate with our neighbors. Give us comfort in the hours of this night, and please give your love and your light and your protection over all of those who do not have a safe place to lie their head this evening. Bring us all into the new day with the hope and promise of new opportunity and let those of us who can do more to help those of us who are in need. All of this we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us continue on the bottom of page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you so much for taking time out of your evening to join me for this prayer of Compline. Remember that we offer a morning prayer service with Mother Anne and Deacon Frank Monday through Friday at 8.30 a.m. And we offer this Compline prayer service Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. with either myself or Brother Les. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful evening. Thank you again for joining us. Good night.